Hey, this is Dion, co-pioneers. Today's video is about iframes. How to make an iframe and in what situation would you actually use an iframe in. So let's get into it right now. I'm here in brackets. So let's go ahead and um, make up some HTML here to get this iframe coded in there. So I'm gonna give it the doc type. Set the HTML container there and let's go ahead and hit our lightning bolt and nothing is on there right now let's make our body and now the iframe will uh, follow the same principle as the HTML and the body elements uh, opening and closing tag and all you have to do is put in iframe um, we'll, the iframe is kind of like a hyperlink or an image where it needs a source. So we won't put a, anything in there right now. Let's just close that. And there you see the blank iframe here. So let's see, what can we put in there? I'm just going to go to uh, copioneersgear.com, which redirects to my kit here where I show my little setup here stuff that I use to code with but let's take this URL here copy it and we're going to paste that into the iframe because this site is actually a good example uh, for like when you would actually use an iframe so I have that there and now you could see it appeared here inside of the iframe right now it looks kind of weird though so let's give this a width. Uh, the width is going to be equal to 100% because we wanted to fill the whole page there. And now here's where iframes get weird. And that uh, comes in with the height. If we set the height equal to 100%, um, it, it opens up a little bit, but that's still not enough. Even if we set this to auto, it just doesn't do anything. So uh, normally, when I when I use an iframe uh, on a site, I, I default to a thousand pixels, and that's usually like my starting point for an iframe. Now, a couple of things here though that you see that there is the scroll bar for the main web page and then the iframe itself has its own scroll bar and so sometimes you you don't want to see the second scroll bar and to get rid of that um, you can put the scrolling uh, equal to no and that will take it away but the bad thing about that is that it crops off the end of the web page that you've iframed. So you don't really want it set to no. Um, you can set it to either yes or let's see, yes, or I usually just set it to auto. Um, but to get rid of the scroll bar, um, the only way to do it is to change the height. Well, you, you could also um, use JavaScript or CSS to style uh, the web page a certain way um, where it can target the iframe and automatically adjust its size. Um, but we're not going to do any complicated stuff like that on this tutorial. We're just going to do what I would normally do <laughs> when I don't have time to do all of that other stuff anyway is I just take the height up to whatever it needs to be. So uh, at 1500, the scroll bar is still there. So let's try 1600. So now 1600, the scroll bar disappears. And so this is what I'm gonna leave the height at. So like I said, the, the more complicated way to deal with the height of the iframe is either through some CSS or JavaScript, but um, I normally just do this. 
because it's just it's just an iframe <laughs> i don't know it's an iframe which usually is an interior page on the site and this is all you really need it to do is just to display the entire page um, especially if you want to get rid of the scroll bar now you can also get rid of this frame border right here this little border around the iframe so that it looks um, more genuine like it's actually a part of the site so you can get rid of that by putting in frame border and just set it equal to zero so this now looks it looks like um, this right here um, which is the, the kit here the Code Pioneers kit but it's actually iframe right here so if I was to um, put this on an actual page this iframe um, would be on uh, whatever website I put it on and it would look like it's just a part of the website instead of um, being on a different domain like it, it actually is so this is how you make an iframe and this is how I would normally um, code that out I would just make the iframe uh, make the width a hundred percent set the height to you know, I play around with it till I get the height that I want it at. You know, it only takes like two or three tries. And then I make the frame border zero and I'll just leave scrolling at auto. Um, but why would anybody want this, right? Why would you want a web page within a web page? Uh, well, this is the perfect reason why uh, here. Uh, sometimes you'll have a client or a website that you know, you have some something else that you're selling or another another web page that you want to bring into your website. You want to bring that onto your web page, but you don't actually want to link out away from the domain that you're on. So if you had a, like a main domain um, uh, where this web page lives at, you don't want anybody leaving your website to go to another website like this third party here that is has my developer set up you want them to stay on your website as much as possible or if it's if you're a freelancer and you built a website for the client and the client absolutely does not want that person to leave their domain then they may ask for something like an iframe so that they always are staying on their website. So that's the main reason to make an iframe so that you never send anybody off of the website. And this is pretty much the way to do it. Like I said, it's pretty easy. Um, you just have the open and closing tag and your stuff in the middle. And you know, sometimes iframes, uh, what your iframing is not, um responsive like this and, and you know in, in situations like that um, a lot of times what um, developers will do is uh, they they will like they will code out like they, they they basically would hide the iframe on mobile or something like that so if this was not responsive and like it would show up on cut off on mobile a lot of developers would hide the iframe on mobile and then just create a, a button or a link that links out to the site so it will be iframed on desktop but it will link out on mobile so some websites do not allow you to actually iframe them so like amazon if i was to come in and put in uh, like amazon.com that will not allow me to iframe it see it says amazon refused to connect and you know if we inspect it there we can see the iframe is here but it just will not uh, amazon has a block on it 
so that you cannot iframe it. And so some sites will be like that. Uh, doesn't mean that you did something wrong, but they just don't want you iframing it, which makes sense. Like they don't want you pretending to be their site. And you know, you you could iframe a lot of different sites out there, and and you know, there's a lot of scammers out there that could use that. Um, you know that iframe for their own purposes so some some companies won't let you iframe it. so that's it with when it comes to iframe if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next video